Hello, my friends. Today I continue to make motifs uh, for VIP package about uh, dress Angelica, and I just finished to make this last element. It's only one part of big uh, lace Cassiopeia. So we have here really awesome element, eight petals, uh, fantastic uh, yes design and beautiful color. Now I need to hide tails in all elements, and together with you we will iron and stretch them. In such a way, we will prepare everything for uh, just for our package, for VIP package. Some elements are ready, so I can take them from here. We have two elements, Daphna, yes, two motifs, Daphna, different color design. Also, there's two flowers, they are ready. Uh, we have them, I hide tails, and also one, this flower. Everything else I need to work with all these elements. So I, I will use a needle with big eye and I will hide step by step all these tails. And after I will stretch and iron everything. So how to hide tails? This thread it's viscose, 100% viscose. So uh, we need to uh, draw thread in the middle of these stitches three times. Just change direction. And uh, all the time I am working like this with my elements, with my projects. And I know from my practice that this really is good uh, variant to hide tails. So first time in the same place, insert needle and just very accurate, slow, draw this thread to this direction. And third time in the same place, insert needle and draw this thread to this direction. Now I can cut the yarn very close to the element. In such a way I hide first tail. It's great that this big element, it has only two tails, yes, so uh, really big uh, ready lace and only two tails to hide. It's really fantastic in my work because sometimes we have very small elements, for example, like uh, we have flowers in two colors. So here we have, uh, yes, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six tails. You see, a lot of tails. So right now it's really perfect. Only two tails to hide. Now when we have very thin uh, chains, yes, we need to cross them. It will be better if we reach to this solid, uh, yes, part of lace. There we will hide this tail very easily. Just carefully draw this thread in the middle of stitches and we will reach to this area. There I will hide this thread. So now I can go here. We can take two stitches just along. I will insert needle like this. One time after in the same place, second time and third time in the same area. Just we are changing direction, that's all. And now I can cut this second tail. So, second, uh, yes, element is ready. Now let's take this one. I really like this uh, lace, this design. I used this lace for my projects a few times and for long evening dresses, yes. So I r really think this uh, lace is perfect. It looks very interesting and rich and the design of this lace is amazing especially if you will make it from viscose you will see this shiny petals shiny green it looks amazing and now let's hide this second tail okay so we have this part and now the last one again i need to reach to this petal and uh, for this i will cross some area some stitches just like this and now I can work here where we have petal and a lot of stitches place it very close to each other and like this second time and third time in the same area and this element is also ready it's really perfect when you have just two tails to hide here and now let's take flower and I will hide just I will show you how to hide yes tails when you have different colors and in the middle we have yellow so we will hide this yellow tail inside of this yellow stitches 
it's a light gold yes second color is dark gold and now just three times do like this okay and now let's take a dark gold and hi i will hide this yes color in the same stitches just to get really perfect result and beautiful result this part of element where we have yes all these stitches threads it's really perfect for this work three times in the same place insert needle and just change direction that's all and now let's cut this and also i want to show you for example we have part of fringe yes also it's not so easy to hide tails here and um, you see we have a lot of uh, chains and once again if you have chance you can cross some uh, the seam parts and you can reach for this for example petal and here it will be just really more uh, easy to work to hide this tail just to fix this thread yes better and now i will do this cross this two small areas and now we can work here again i can work along these stitches and just do this three times first one now go back yes to this point and third time in the same area i will work again just change direction and insert very carefully this needle and now we can cut this thread this is first tail here and here we have also the only two tails it's sample of lace yes i know from my practice when you are making uh, fringes it's fringe part of fringe so when you're making fringes for projects it can be for dress or blouse or skirt in um, i think my opinion is is better to make them a little bit loose yes after you will iron and stretch them they will be very delicate if you will make them too tight it will be just uh, uh, not so tender yes we can say the result will be not so light and tender that's why i really enjoy to make them a little bit loose in such way we, will, we can get really awesome result in our dress angelica we have uh, two long fringes one at the bottom of skirt and one in the middle of skirt uh, just like decoration with very interesting design so these fringes it's really a big work you need to make a lot of a lot of cells and now we have these beautiful long leaves with different design and uh, here we have each time four tails to hide because we have two colors so two tails for each color and uh, we have four different designs you can see yeah, it's also very interesting to uh, and also i think i have one uh, just ivory yes five leaves like this so let's hide two tails And these long leaves, uh, they are very interesting. By using different colors, you can place them, yes, in some composition. And just, you can get really awesome design just by using long leaves. Um, maybe you can make them some longer, some shorter. It's very easy to do just by using main pattern. And uh, also by playing with colors, you can get something fantastic. And I'm often using these uh, leaves for my project. It's really a nice element. It's also, also my outer motif. So I love to use it uh, very often. So I am. Uh, I need to hide tails very accurate. So ivory in ivory, dark gold in dark gold, like this. In such way, the result will be really nice. So I will hide also this tail. You can see this dark gold part is very, <laughs> very far. So we need to skip two centimeters. And I will go like this, go to the middle here where, where we have this dark gold color. Yes. And very close to this area, I will do like this. And now I can work here in the middle. And second time. Mm -hmm. 
and third time. You see, you should leave tails really long. Just it will be more convenient to work with them. Right now I have very small part. Okay, so this part is ready, and now the last thread uh, in this area. Now I will prepare uh, next uh, elements. I will hide, yes, all tails. And after together with you, I want to iron and stretch some elements, yes. And I want to show you results, yes, ready motifs. So this long leaf is ready for tails. We hide and now it's ready for next step. Now we can start to iron and stretch these all elements. Just we need to open each petal, each leaf, yes, and stretch it really strong. And first flower three petals is ready. Now we can take next element. Let's take flower like this in two colors. Also, first we should use steam a little bit to start this work and after by fingers stretch and open each petal. And again, step by step, just work like this. This is a small flower talisman in two colors. Very beautiful shape. I love to use this element. This is my first outer motif. And now let's take this, for example, flower three petals with in two colors, yes, light gold and dark gold. Here also we should open each petal. And also this circle in the middle. Very nice. Beautiful combination of colors, I think, really nice. And after, uh, we can take long leaves, maybe with light gold and dark gold. Also can be this green color. And here everything is very simple. We should press this part and <laughs> next stretch it to another direction, to this direction and at the both sides. After also here, we should stretch it by fingers and also try to do like this. And we will get really nice result, very shiny, silky and pretty. And let's make second one with dark gold middle part. And this element is also very beautiful and it's ready. Uh, next, let's take some element, maybe my favorite, this motif, a part of lace. 
and uh, gradually I will iron it and stretch. And now we should open this beautiful motif and this all grids like this and stretch it really strong to each direction yes at the both sides also what we can do like this now this is really amazing it is very uh, shiny and very soft and really amazing light gold color for our beautiful skirt it's not skirt a bottom part of dress yes looks really amazing and now we have the same like a big one to work so step by step a lot of work just Start from here where we have this eight petals. Next, go to this part where we have four petals, and after three petals here, a few times. And next, again, I will stretch it really strong at the both sides. We can iron this lace. it in different directions so I think you do <laughs> iron this really big lace we have here uh, this main flower eight petals you can see after four petals here we have really awesome and the uh, next three petals three and the last one really huge <laughs> huge part of lace and really incredibly beautiful soft now it's shiny soft and so tender after you iron it by using steam iron this thread is really incredible amazing lace and now i will continue to iron rest elements step by step just a have few more here such a uh, have i have parts of motif daphna too like this we will use them symmetrically in our composition Here we also should open this beautiful shape, picots, arches, and like this. So this half of Motif Daphna is ready, second one I will do right now. And also second part is also ready, it looks like this, very tender and this design you can see it's also very rich and nice. And now uh, we also have small leaves, they are very interesting uh, with different design, yes. I will show you what we have. We have four i think or maybe five i made only four four yes different design so what we have here 
no i think we have also gold just i need to find it yes so i made five small leaves like this and uh, uh, yes some of them i made in one color like this and here we have two colors very interesting just this beginning i made in different colors so let's iron them also Now we have five beautiful small leaves like this, you can see them here and you can see we have light gold, also light gold with ivory, olive green and dark gold with ivory and this beautiful light gold with green color, five small leaves, they are ready. Now I will iron next uh, flowers, uh, we have this all. Let's iron them. So I just finished to iron all these beautiful flowers. Uh, we have like this flower talisman, also this one only with two petals. This one three petals and leaf. And this amazing results also high quality. And these two motifs in different colors. And uh, here we have long leaves, also they are ready with a different color. We can take it this background and we have these results. Also part of fringe is ready, I iron it and stretch it. And these small elements for special design for the back side, uh, this, this will be for the back side. Also we have this all flowers our beautiful small leaves and parts of Daphna, huge lace, this one, Cassiopeia with five segments and Cassiopeia only one. Next we have these two long leaves, our beautiful flowers and next flowers, this really amazing <laughs> design, beautiful flowers also. And our motif, motifs Daphna. So, uh, all elements are ready. Now I can start to pack a VIP package. I will place these all elements inside of our magazine together with colored schemes. And also I will pack threads and fabric patterns that I have prepared for my student by using her individual measurements. And uh, yes, I will uh, pack this all. You will see this video at my YouTube channel. This will be video about VIP packages, how, how I am packing and sending this package. Uh, this will be next video on my YouTube channel. Right now, um, we have prepared everything. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to order crochet courses made by JT House, just visit our main website, jthouse.net slash store. There you will find our main crochet classes, different projects. Also, you can choose yarn kits. I will be happy to help you to choose colors, to choose the necessary amount of threads. And uh, with big pleasure, I will send you package like this with samples, with threads and high quality tutorials. I wish you all the best, stay safe and see you very soon at the new videos. Bye bye for now.